My name is Brian Hughes. I got out of the Army in 1999 uh, as a staff sergeant and I was in a couple of times. I started in 1977 to 1980. I was on active duty and then from 1987 to 1999 I was in the New York National Guard in the Army Reserves. My father served in the Marine Corps uh, for a short time. Uh, I have several uncles who are in. I have an uncle who was in the second wave at Omaha Beach and he had some issues you know for the rest of his life based on his experiences there. Uh, I have another uncle who served in the Vietnam War. Well, I was not drafted, the draft was over when, when I was in high school and my goal at the time was to become a police officer and most police officers you had to be 21 years old so I thought to be an MP, a military policeman would give me some training that would help me later on in life. Well, basic training I did at Fort McClellan, Alabama. That was in 77, and that was a little shock to me. Coming from New Hampshire, um, you know, where the winters we'd get eight feet of snow, or at least it seemed like it. Going down to uh, Anniston, Alabama, where it, it felt like it was a thousand degrees in the shade. It was kind of like a big, uh, like a big camp, you know. It was kind of fun. It was my first time away from home, and first time I had flown on a jet anywhere and so it was all a big experience to me it was it was kind of cool the missions that we had when we were in Germany we would we would do a week in what we called garrison duty and a week in field duty one week we'd be on patrol we would do police work I'd either work with the German police or we'd go out on our own and we'd respond to calls just like regular policemen uh, for the other week we'd be in the field we'd be doing training exercises we'd go out and you know, do military tactics that would be related to our occupational specialty as military policemen. And things we did were like maintain communication, um, enemy prisoner of war, um, control and custody, uh, main supply route, patrolling and traffic control points, things like that. The greatest fear we had was that it would be the real thing, you know, preparing to go out there, you know, at least once a month, usually twice a month, we'd get a what we call an alert in the middle of the night. So at two, three, four in the morning, a siren would go off and no matter what you were doing, you had to be up and within minutes, get your stuff all ready to go and be on your way out to the field. As MPs, we had to be out there first because we had to get traffic control points set up for the armored division that was coming behind us. In an open Jeep, when snow, snow up to almost the entry point of the Jeep, a little heater in the bottom of the Jeep, but it was open, so it was, we were just freezing. And I ate my first sea rations there, and I, I looked at it, it was a can of beef and potatoes, and it was actually canned in my hometown of Manchester, New Hampshire. So I ate them, and within the hour, I was violently sick in the snow, and I ended up getting food poisoning. So they, I had to go to the hospital. I spent three days in the hospital and that was my introduction to Germany. I am the Director of Protective Services at the Intrepid. The military teaches about leadership and I have always been a, a student of leadership um, ever since I was in the military. And even through my years in the police department, that's always been a big component of, of who I think I am. I always try to be the best leader that I can be in. You know, when I first came to the Intrepid, I, I, I'm a big history buff and a military history buff um, uh, in, in particular. So coming here where we have so many uh, events related to, to the military, it, it's like a, being a kid in a candy store, you know? You know, seeing uh, the former crew members who've been here and who experienced World War II on their ship, it's, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing experience and I really enjoy working here. When you get to your permanent duty station, that's when you start making the friendships that will be with you for those three or four years that you're there. And those do last a, a lifetime. Uh, you know, I, I spent 21 years in the police department and you never make friendships the way you do in the Army. And I think it's because you have that sense of shared responsibility to each other that you just don't get in a civilian job. 
it's always meant the same thing, even before I was a veteran. Uh, you know, it started out with Armistice Day and to celebrate World War I, and then after World War II in, in Korea, it was just made to honor all veterans. Whereas Memorial Day, you're honoring veterans who were killed. Um, this is to honor people who sacrificed for their country. And, you know, I don't really count myself among that because to me it was a good time. It wasn't, I wasn't sacrificing. Um, I was honored to be able to do it. Uh, but I always, I always grew up that, you know, service to your country was an important, important part of being a citizen. And, you know, to me, serving in the military was what I wanted to do, to do my service for my country.